That's the first food, food tax so I'll just move that to the side. And uh, the brown one. So that also has nine main items and they're multiplied. So I'll just get them out. So you've got the sugar, that's six, six kg, so three kg each. Sure. There's two of them. Yeah, two of them. So I'll just pull that out. Put it to the side. We've also got tea. Ever, ever popular. Doesn't ma matter which nationality or country you're from. Tea goes a treat. I know Wajid loves his tea. I certainly do. Uh, thank you, Nazim, for that. So, two of those facts. Uh, and then you've got the the beans. Sorry, so yeah. two kgs of these white beans. Yep. So, that to the side. Then you've got uh, something we all like in Asian households: halwa. Right, Never goes amiss. So this is also. Uh, two kgs of halwa um, and that will go a long way in terms of for Syrian families uh, it's something you know it's, it's a dessert really that's that's important to have as well as, as part of way as well especially Ramadan it's nice to have uh, food with the family and we've, what we've got here is another is that the margarine that's the margarine sorry yeah so 880 ml each, so margarine, it's also for families, so alhamdulillah, feels really good. Uh, what we have here is the grape pa uh, paste, 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 paste. 1.5 kg of grape, grape paste. Marshall. So there you go. Yeah, and uh, I think that could be used for various different things, mm -hmm. i.e. to spreading on uh, bread, so essentially I think it's used as a jam. Yeah, 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 essentially, here it is. And uh, then we have a bit of uh, sunflower oil. So that's two kg each. That's uh, olive oil? Olive oil, sorry, yeah. excuse me. I'm not a cook, so you can understand why I'm struggling to get the yeah. right items. Yeah, <laughs> I do profoundly apologize. Wajid, I, I only know that because I was packing uh, boxes and boxes yeah, of them go. today. So, so uh, olive oil, originally it wasn't supposed to be part of the pack. Uh, but SKT felt it's Ramadan and olive oil uh, is also part of the staple diet of Syrian refugees and obviously with Muslims, uh, it's mentioned, it mentioned in the glorious Quran and Zaytun. So there's uh, uh, two kg of that, so two of these bottles. Uh, regards the olive oil, I just want to add, I, I do remember speaking with um, uh, Brother Asif, who uh, is the trustee for SKT. Uh, one, one of the founding fathers of SKT and uh, the other day he was mentioning that there are three types uh, of olive, olive oil that you can get uh, and the one that we've got is actually the best one you can have uh, because uh, generally speaking the Arabs and including the Syrians do actually like to drink olive oil um, they also like to use it uh, with uh, bread and uh, um, you know other food items, so like hummus. Um, so the other two weren't really ideal for that, and they weren't ideal for cooking. So this olive oil that you can see here, and as you can see, we've got the SKT welfare stickers on there. Uh, th this is actually the best olive oil that you can have, and it's also suitable for cooking. Absolutely, I couldn't have phrased it any better. Um, so there you go. Uh, and then you've got uh, sunflower oil, 2 kg each, so it's six, uh, four, sorry, uh, 4 kg of sunflower oil, so for cooking. Um, there you go, so 2 kg of And finally, you've got uh, tomato... Tomato paste? Yeah, tomato paste, yes. uh, which is 1 kg. So, uh, really for cooking and everything. So as you can see, um, I've just... You know, my, my, myself, I've just gone through two of the food parcels. There's there's a whole quantity of food there that will provide a family of six uh, enough food during the period of Ramadan Kareem. As you can see, it's quality food. It's, it's not cheap food. It's quality food that will last. Uh, and uh, really, in essence, your £50, many of you have donated £50, many of you have donated more than £50 for your families and your relatives uh, and those that have passed away. 
Uh, may God have mercy on them and give them elevated place in Jannah for those. Uh, and also for those that are ill. Um, this will benefit Syrian refugees, especially when they open the fast, like I mentioned. Um, they struggle with the bare, uh, bare minimum, which we take for granted. And as you can see, a lot of items, this is how far your £50 has gone. Uh, and without your donations, we wouldn't have been able to uh, raise all this money. As a group of 10, we've raised over 63 or £65,000. Sure. And that's been a phenomenal amount. And that's only happened through your do donations. You know who you are. Uh, the list is extensive. And on behalf of Wadi and myself, we just like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, we've come here at our own expense. Uh, we booked our own holidays. I work in a school as a career advisor, and I can only take two weeks during school uh, during the term time. And I saved that towards the end of Ramadan. Uh, so I can come here, and so as Wajid, and this, uh, this is our third consecutive uh, visit here. Uh, and we will keep you posted on what's happening because we feel it's important to be transparent and also show our gratitude to those who have funded this. Without your donation and support, it wouldn't be possible. Today's been a long day, many of us are feeling our backs. Uh, we're just doing back um, exercising and everything, and tomorrow morning we're on the go. So we'll be visiting, hopefully, uh, some uh, schools with Syrian refugees. And we'll also be uh, having the rare pleasure of uh, visiting a refugee camp uh, on, the, on the border region. So we'll keep you posted. Uh, bear with us. We don't really have any internet during the day. And the other thing is, we're working ever so hard. So we don't really have time until the evening. Now it's like 1 a.m. Turkish time. Uh, and we felt we wanted to make this video. And I just let, uh, let Wajid uh, finish off with uh, parting words. Yeah, Jazakallah, uh, Brother Nazim, that was, uh, mashallah, uh, very well explained. And uh, like Brother Nazim has said, Alhamdulillah, you could see all the uh, food items uh, that we've purchased. And um, they are, uh, as Brother Nazim rightly put, that they are very uh, high quality items. Uh, and uh, Alhamdulillah, SKT believe that in order, uh, it is about uh, quality and not quantity. Uh, and of course we'd like to help as many people as possible but at the same time uh, we would like to provide them with uh, really good food um, so that they can uh, as well as nourish themselves they can uh, actually enjoy the food uh, so uh, Jazakallah Brother Nazim that was excellent uh, as you can see from the clock behind uh, it is one o'clock in the morning uh, so uh, I think we need to pack up here and uh, inshallah this was the first day uh, the first night of our um, little uh, video session, inshallah, as Brother Nazima said, uh, we will keep you posted um, and uh, we will uh, hopefully um, post uh, one of these videos just going over the days uh, and uh, it is really about keeping you informed and uh, letting you know of how we're getting along and uh, where your money's reaching. So thank you very much, uh, everyone, for watching this. Uh, thank you very much for supporting us. And inshallah, we will see you soon. Jazakallah. Jazakallah.